Wisconsin, can they hit the restart button here as a, as a 2 0 lead? You hate to head into that locker room. You want to just keep on playing. Can the Badgers come out with the same fighting spirit? And as they get the opening point, they, they blitz Texas through those first two sets. Carlini with 25 assists, six aces for the club. Eckerman, the lone highlight for Texas. Demi Morales and Courtney Thomas combined for 14 kills for the Badgers. And Cat Bell is heard from. And that's a different Cat Bell. That's the kind of swing that we saw her take in the regional final in Nebraska. Good hard swing to a seam, more assertive. Of course, now she goes into the backcourt, but she looks like she's ready to be a little more effective offensively for Texas. That time, Morales getting way under the ball. You see a ball when it comes off a hitter's hand with no spin. That's not intentional. You want to do it from the service line, but not when you're attacking at the net. Allison, by the way, is back in at setter for Texas. This is Lauren Carlini. Allison diving to pop it up. Bump to Webster. Bailey goes to the tip, dug up by Morales. The back set to Thomas, try to get it down the line, and back-to-back you know, -back hitting errors here for Wisconsin. Yeah. Thomas getting a little intimidated by that Bailey Webster block. A good jumper, and of course she's 6'3 or 6'4. Eckerman tried to dig it up. Point Wisconsin. Got ready to make that set, I Beth. thought you were ready to go. <laughs> I couldn't quite see it though as I was headed under the table, but I figured you would be able to get to it. Our volleyball technique might be a little better than our sweeping <laughs> technique, so. <laughs> they made us sweep the floors earlier tonight. And another hitting error. That's not what you want to do if you're Wisconsin. You must pressure this Texas team and make this Texas team beat you. And they've given up three freebies out of Texas's four points. Wisconsin has been so good. This is actually the latest in a set that Texas has had a lead. Just six points in. They get the stuff. Badgers scrambling. Free ball, Texas. Palmer to Allison. Abagu gets her first kill of the match. And that's a good matchup with a 6-1 Abagu with a pretty with pretty good hops going against a 5-7 blocker right over. You want to not drag that ball down, but actually hit it into the deep part of the court. Well done by Abagu. Webster missed it wide point Wisconsin. Well, I think we're seeing what you talked about at the beginning of the telecast, Coach. Te Texas is at its best when they feel threatened. And certainly down 0-2 will get you threatened. If and, that won't. Yeah, and they are playing with a little more emotion here. Although they still cannot handle the service game for Wisconsin. Badgers doing exactly what they want to, putting pressure on the passers of Texas. You only have Eckerman and the Libero Palmer, and that is what I, it's not an ace, but I'd call it an ace, with Carlini finishing and terminating with aggressiveness. Passing over the net by Eckerman. Texas needs, again, still only passing with Sarah Palmer and Haley Eckerman, and Eckerman having a third straight difficulty there. We have seen Texas forced into making defensive substitutions to deal with that service game. Point Longhorns in the fourth hitting error of this set for the Badgers. Carlini, Thompson sliding behind. Got a lot of help for Texas right now from Wisconsin. Texas has seven points. It must be somebody's birthday over there because <laughs> Washington has, I mean, no, Wisconsin has given them five unforced errors, five hits that just went clean out of bounds into the net or into the antenna. Thompson. Got some help from the tape there. Point Badgers. 
So all Wisconsin really has to do is find that space, that daylight between blockers. If they can get it there, it's often going to the floor on Texas' side of the net. Allison looking for Bagu. You know, they caught a break there. Point Texas. They sure did catch a break. That's a misconnection. Usually a Bagu is crushing this ball, but that was a little higher. Didn't come out of the setter's hands as quickly. A delayed play. Texas a little lucky on that kill. That was actually an incredible hang time from the 6-1 freshman from Capel, Texas. He wasn't even in the lineup early in the season for the Longhorns. They weren't sure if she would have to redshirt this year. And has come on to become an integral part of their success. And Carlini looking for Chapman. Altered by the block. Eckerman with the high ball. Tight to the net. Couldn't work with it. Point Badgers. After Eckerman ran into Sarah Palmer. The setters for Texas having some trouble locating the ball in a good position. That one going way too close. Eckerman not able to do much with it. Another tip sent back. Chapman with the block. And this also going too close. All Cat Bell can really do is touch it, but you don't want to leave it up there for a six foot five blocker to swap back to the floor. Morales to Carlini. Outside Chapman. Point Wisconsin. Well, after struggling early in the set, the Badgers getting back on track. And this is what they were swinging for before. They could see that there was some line to hit in. It's just a couple of times they hit it into the antenna. And another misconnection. That set is going too high for the middles. Carlini pushes it across. Palmer calling for it. Bumps it out to Ackerman. Hammers it home. Point Texas. This ball is left inside the, the right side block of the wing blocker for Wisconsin. Lauren Carlini in that case. She's done such a nice job running the offense, but she has to bring that block in. Karch, of course, you are now the coach for the U.S. national team. What, what kinds of things can you do to help your setter at the, in a situation like this struggling mightily for Texas? Well, they've tried both things, and one is switch setters. Yep. Another is run people different places, which Cat Bell just did there. Mistake on, all, on, on the defense there. But what you do is you try to have some hitters go to different places and find them some space to put the ball to the floor. And there's Allison making a play defensively for Texas to help them get a point. Point, Wisconsin. Well, a lot of her teammates, Kat Bell's teammates, were saying how loud she can be, how what an emotional leader she can be for that team. Right now, she seems pretty quiet. They need more from her, and maybe there that's the is. start of it. Turning around, but I still don't see her engaging her teammates like we saw her last weekend. That wasn't really the animated celebration that she had last weekend. She actually used the phrase, control the adversity on our side of the court. There is a lot of that going on for Texas, and the Badgers a big reason why, as they continue to keep the pressure on. And they get one to fall. Courtney Thomas. A little bit of luck on this play for Wisconsin. A roll shot that Bailey Webster was ready to play, but she wasn't able to stay balanced as she moved, hit the block, goes to a different spot, and she can't touch it. Allison on two. Double contact against exactly. the Badgers. This referee has called a number of double contacts, so on a scramble play like that, you have to use a more solid surface, maybe a fist, 
or hands put together, but clearly she's not going to let those poor contacts go without calling. And the stuff for Texas. Webster in the cage with the block. And we saw Webster one, make one of these moves earlier, jumping into the court. Watch. Jumps to her right, reaches way in. Huge move. Those are the kinds of plays that Texas needs, and we've seen it all match long. They score a point, make a great play, and then the serve goes into the net, killing their own chances to actually run streaks of points and open up a lead. And for Wisconsin, it was a 5-0 run to close out the opening set and a 7-0 run early in the second set that allowed them to take control of the match. Good defense, Morales trying to reward her with the kill, and the Texas block too tough. You are right, Wisconsin has broken those first two sets open with the kind of effective serve runs that Texas has been unable to muster. What an up by Morales, as Webster was hitting right at us on the sharp cross court. Just couldn't transition it. At the break, Coach Sheffield talked about how one of their strengths has been getting the ball up and transitioning it for the kill that time. Falling short. Ping pong it around. Free ball, Texas. Allison looking to McCage. Got the touch. Point Texas. The Badgers disagree. And we will take a break. The Longhorns up three in the third, but it's Wisconsin up two in the match as the top seed tries to dig out of a hole. The NCAA Women's Volleyball Championship is presented by Northwestern Mutual. Proud to be an official corporate partner of the NCAA. Back here in Seattle, the NCAA Women's Volleyball Championships continuing with the championship match for you on Saturday at 9.30 Eastern on ESPN2. For more information, visit NCAA.com. You're home for 89 NCAA championships. Best three of five, and Wisconsin has already taken the first two. Trying to knock out the top seed, and the Badgers trying to become the lowest seed in the 33-year history of the tournament to take home the trophy. And Kelly Sheffield telling his team in order to do that, they have to do a better job running the middles right now. He wants the ball in Dominique Thompson's hands, and he wants the right side sets to be a little bit further out, guys. Texas makes a nice adjustment. Hannah Allison setting the ball a little lower. Her quick hitter, Abagu in that case, could actually take an effective swing. And if they're not getting production in one area of the court, they have to find it somewhere else. Good adjustment for Texas. But we saw it coming out of that timeout. They killed their own momentum with another missed serve. Tip by Abagu, Wisconsin in transition. Thompson off the block. The other developing storylines tonight, a wicked Wisconsin serve advantage. Setter problems on the other side of the net for Texas. And Bailey Webster with just three kills in the match. The All-American for Texas, last year's most outstanding player, without a kill in the first or the third sets. And the Badgers come up with the block. Six foot five out on the left side for Wisconsin, all by herself. Middle blocker not really involved in that play. The size advantage really hasn't been as big of a disadvantage for Wisconsin tonight, Karch. They have been able to tool blocks. They have spread it around. Eight kills apiece for Morales and Chapman. Seven for Thomas, six for Thompson. Here is Thompson. Give her a seventh. And this speed out to the sidelines, out to the perimeter, is just too fast for Cat Bell to get there. That's really a one-on-one -on -one hitting situation, and hitters win that a very high percentage of the time. Well run by freshman setter Lauren Carlini. Again, the big live arms for Texas cannot get a big swing at it. Point, Wisconsin. 
And they tie it up at 17. Wisconsin with four of the last five points. Eckerman indecisive about whether or not to let that one go out. And here comes Wisconsin. Lauren Carlini. Chapman cuts it. Eckerman is there. The overpass. Carlini couldn't put it down. She got, <laughs> she was licking her chops too much on this one. Got so excited when you have a ball that's uncontested and spin. She swung so hard. Watch her hand. She's going to hit the net just a little bit and immediately the down referee. Yep, right there with the uh, yeah. right hand. Sports Center top 10. Sports Center top 10. <laughs> oh, no. And that's a big play, two-point change. Wisconsin could have had the lead. Don't want to give any. What you want to do is get a big lead on Texas. Don't even let the keep leave the number one seed close at the end of this set. Great get by Eckerman to keep it alive. Now it's Carlini taking her time and sliding behind down the line. Haley Nelson, no. Texas by two. Timeout, Wisconsin. Life for the Longhorns here in the third. It's been a big night so far for the Badgers. Trying to knock out the top seed and play for the national championship. Back here in Seattle, the national semifinals. Wisconsin, can they close it out in three? Let's take a look at tonight's Reese's perfect play. Dominant behind the service line, Karch. Yes, yeah, seven aces for Wisconsin, and a lot of them are hitting that space between the two passers for Texas, who've had some troubles this season, but Wisconsin magnifying those troubles. So seven aces and only three errors on the other side of the net. Only one ace and seven errors from the Texas service line. That is a 10-point swing in the Badgers' favor. Chapman off the tips. Now Texas in transition. Eckerman dug by Morales. Carlini goes back to Chapman. She's taken a lot of swings here in the third. She'll get another chance. Palmer is there. Eckerman again. Popped up by Carlini. Allison goes back to Eckerman. A thundering kill for Haley. After the longest rally of the match goes to the horns. And Haley Eckerman has a tendency to go cross court. A lot of those sets, you can see her chasing them inside. Allison's leaving those not close enough to the sideline for Texas. Palmer with a nice cover. That was a better location. Eckerman with, got, got the good swing off of that. Good dig by Hickey for Wisconsin. Eckerman with the tip, the diving play by Thomas. Here comes Chapman again. She tries to finesse it. And stuffed. Bell sliding behind, tried to shove it deep. Badgers win the rally. That's the defense Coach Sheffield was talking about for Wisconsin. And finally, they thread the needle down the line. The patience, they can make those rallies go long with the strong backcourt play. Minus, but only two points behind Texas this third set. Ackerman, long point, Badgers, Maria. Coach Sheffield is still telling his team to feel the moment now as we push later into the third set. He's also telling them that on defense to get underneath those balls Haley Ackerman is hitting and dive under when they're digging that hard cross shot. Carlini. And what I like that he said in that locker room was just, we don't need to do anything more. So often teams come into this moment when they haven't been there and they feel we've got to play better. We've got to make even better or different plays than we have been. But in this case, Wisconsin just playing its game. That's a lot of defense, a lot of ball control, and hitting in except in this game. Now seven clean hit out 
unforced attack errors. Stanford in 2004, an 11 seed. That is the lowest seeded team to win a national championship. And the Badgers trying to close it out in the third to get a shot at a title as the 12 seed. Webster cannot find the floor. Morales back out to Webster. Carlini looking to Thomas. Point Texas. I like the choice by Carlini. She got exactly what she wanted out of her offense there, a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Perhaps the future face of setting for the U.S. national team, just a freshman at Wisconsin. Morales right at Bell. Back to the Badgers. Carlini sets the middle, dug up in the back again by Texas. And it won't get across Point Wisconsin. The set is to 25. You must win by two. Allison. Webster. Boy, made something out of nothing right there for Texas. There are two points from the set. Her first kill of this third set. Carlini, Thompson, and a net violation on the Badgers, and it is set point Texas. I think it was actually Carlini. Sort of right? foot, yeah. With her foot, but Wisconsin ran a play they hadn't run all evening. Watch the right the, foot. Yep, and with number 14, Dominique Thompson, coming in and finding an open net with the foot kick. Set to stay alive. They've got a couple of set points. One ace, eight service errors on the night for Texas. Carlini, Thompson. Same play they just ran, but a better result for the Badgers, and now they will serve trying to save the set. So the question you got to think about is, do you go out to Bailey Webster? She only has three kills. Ackerman, the overpass, and put down by the Badgers to tie it up. My guess is that if Texas gets a good pass, she'll probably try to set a Bagu, but if they take the strength of Bagu out, the offensive strength, and instead bring in Number three, Pilar Victoria, to be a better passer. Help them control this serve. They've talked about their fighting spirit this year. The Badgers fight off two set points. And now they can serve for the match at a spot in the national championship. Webster, Carlini diving to bump it up. Allison goes back outside to Webster. Texas stays alive. <laughs> Must win by two. Thompson hitting error into the net. 
the third set point for Texas. Abagu back in up front. Serve from Neal. The block by Texas. Morales. Horns in transition. Ackerman. Carlini back out to Morales. Beats the solo block. Well, you gotta love the confidence that Carlini showed in Morales. She had more errors than kills until that last one just evened it up and ties the score back at 26. Three set points wiped away by Wisconsin. Allison to Ackerman. Got it. Set point number four. Vicky to Carlini to Chapman. Missed it long. And the Texas Longhorns fight off a match point here in the third to stay alive 